you talk about unconstitutional overreaches, ban the NSA from bulk data collection and warrantless spying, uh, shut down Guantanamo Bay, doesn't seem to be something Obama could take care of. Uh, how do you, yeah, I mean, talk more about that. What do you think, what, do you, what kind of rights do you think our government should have to look into our information? I think people in both parties are really in favor of privacy, right? Um, the guy I'm running against, he just sponsored a bill that, he sponsored the bill that allows ISP companies to buy and sell our data. Nice. And he did that. Whenever I looked at it, I said, okay, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see where the money is coming from. And he did it because he got $400,000 from telecom. And so, of course, he's going to pass these bills for them. And, and the thing is, how are we allowing our elected representatives to be legally bribed by corporations. It is the most bizarre thing. I don't understand it. I don't understand why there's not more people that are just completely outraged. Um, because of course he's gonna he's gonna sponsor bills like that. Uh, he got a four hundred thousand dollars from the telecom industry. That's his job now. Right. Um, he didn't get four hundred thousand dollars from individuals. He got four hundred thousand dollars from the telecom industry. So um, we have to stop allowing our elected officials to be bribed. And I think the American people, until the legislation's in place, the American people have to start saying, if you take money from these corporations, if you take money from these, you know, dirty packs, we're not we're not going to vote for you anymore. We I don't care what party you're in. If you take this money, I'm not going to vote for you. And the American people have to start putting their foot down and saying, I'll vote outside party lines if you keep taking this money. And um, I mean, I'm de I'm 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 definitely an eth of an ethics voter. If if I'm looking at somebody to vote for, a hundred percent of the time, I will not budge on ethics. I will not budge on people that take this kind of money. Um, it's it's not okay. Uh, it'll never be okay. And hopefully I can try to fix it. Nice. 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 That was that's good that's statements. Do you think, again, I'm going to ask, gonna... how do you think your constituency feels? Have they been pretty historically our voters just for the R? And do you think at this point, based on what's happened with the Trump administration year one, uh, in in particular, I was thinking you could hit hit up as you're you're knocking on doors, talk to constituents. You could say, "I'd like to take care of veterans." Trump wants a parade for himself. Right? <laughs> it's it's right. yeah. do, do you think they're ready to look outside of party? Yeah, I do. Um, I mean, I have Republicans on my team. I have Libertarians on my team. Nice. I think what people want at the end of the day. I put out a survey and I had six or 700 people fill it out. And I said, what are you looking for in a representative? They want honesty. They want transparency. They want someone they can trust. And so they didn't say I want somebody that sees eye to eye with me on every single thing. They didn't say that at all. Nobody said that. Um, but we've created these tribes, right? Where you'll vote for your tribe, even if the the person is completely out of line and doing things that you completely disagree with and that's not how i think i vote right and wrong i think what's right and what's wrong um i think that there's a lot of people who i, I went to a house yesterday i knocked on the door they had a republican sign in their yard they had a back the blue sign and i thought oh these people i don't know how they ended up on my list and they're probably not going to like me and I taught, I went in, they invited me in their house. I, well, I was with a volunteer, so we went in, we talked to them. Uh, they're former Republicans. Um, she's a retired teacher. Wow. And, um, and so, but they said the party left us. The party has been destroyed. Wow. The, the Republican party has been destroyed by the Tea Party. And there's pragmatic and moderate Republicans who they don't have a home right now. And wow. I, I feel like a lot of people we all, a lot of us feel like that, where you feel like, am I the only one who cares about, um, you know, p my representatives being ethical? Am I the only one that can, that calls out bad behavior in the Democratic Party and in the Republican Party? Um, there's a lot of us that feel like that. We feel like, who's, who's really working for me? And so I appeal to those people. And I think um, I have a chance of winning their vote I, because I respect them. I mean, I think as much as I might not see eye to eye with 
everyone in this district. I do respect everyone in this district and I'll work really hard for them regardless if they see eye to eye with me on everything. That's amazing. I, 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 I'm going to go back and cut that clip out, what you just said there, that the Tea Party destroyed the Republican Party. Yeah. And you've got lonely Republicans. <laughs> I don't know what your exact <laughs> words, but, you know, poor Republicans all on their own without a home. That's a, that's a commercial way yeah. to be built. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's so true. And I just want to take a brief moment to tell everybody in the progressive movement that what she just said is exactly what we are in process of doing to the Democratic Party. Yeah. Except hopefully when we're done, it's not going to look like what the Tea Party did to the Republican Party. We're actually going the opposite direction, right, with yeah. integrity. So I just thank you for those words. Yeah. They were fantastic.